another reality show featuring members of the cast of The Hills. That's the last thing we need, but sadly, MTV managed to keep pushing their face palmery on the public and give us a show that nobody besides celebrity gossip fans can like. This show is just as annoying as The Hills, plays music that only redneck neocons can like, and places the focal point on the whining of their quote-unquote stars. This is your typical MTV show where fans of The Hills have transferred their interest to this pile of pig vomit. I could even go as far as to say a Parousia 555 video is more enjoyable than this. Nah, just fucking with you. But if you've seen The Hills, can you honestly expect anything different from the city? This is The Hills without Lauren Conrad. And like The Hills, this show will make an attempt to publicize its talentless stars and turn them into future Heidi and Spencers. This is another thing we need the least. It is affecting my niece the same negative way Fred Phelps Roper affects Christians. There is nothing much to say about this abortion of a show except that it is as creative as a kidney stone that its fans deserve to pass. To avoid the city, or better known as The Hills Part 3, the proper show one must watch instead would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, that was a show that offered creativity, brains, effort, and all-out fun. It lasted nine years, which is more than any reality show can last since reality shows aren't meant to last long anyway. And to say that it didn't influence a generation of people would be a lie. This show was a symbol of my generation and sparked a craze that very few shows can rival. Sure, it may not have been an original show, but it inspired networks to air similar shows and may have paved the way for shows like Captain Planet. Sonic Sat M, Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego, and most infamously, Power Rangers. Basically, it inspired a craze of superhero shows even if it wasn't the first superhero show. The writing of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is also brilliant. Giving us four characters with enviable strengths but flaws, the show portrays the need to keep special gifts under control. The villain, Shredder, is a classic. Say what you will about him. That he's a total rip-off of Darth Vader. It still won't change the fact that he offered comedic moments and could be a menace during the Turtles movies. This series was emotionally engaging and was funny as fuck many times. That is something many reality shows can't say. The show may have sucked when it reached its final years but it remains a legend being the king of children's television from 1987 to probably 1992 or 1993. This is a show one ought to pass on to little kids. Even as an adult, I still put in the time to watch an episode maybe once a month. I also can't forget the nostalgic impact it had. It is a chapter in my life. And if you are a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and cartoons of the like and are a teenager, don't feel embarrassed. It sure as hell beats being a teenager and being a fan of shows like The City and Celebrity Gossip. I wish more high school and middle school kids made fun of reality TV fans than students who like cartoons. It ought to be like that. Still, one thing won't change, the fact that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is superior to The City.